Hey guys, so this video is a video I've been wanting to make for a really long time and the fact that I am sitting down finally filming this video is crazy because I remember tweeting I want to make this really raw vulnerable video like probably almost a year ago and I just never sat down and filmed it because I didn't know how it would go and I know I wanted it to be organized but I know for a fact it's going to be all over the place no matter how hard I try to explain it. I did write notes down because like I said it's a video that's kind of been in the making for a while now. You guys see me on social media and on my YouTube videos as this person and yes it is me. This is exactly how I am in person. I have a sense of humor. I'm sarcastic. For a very long time even on my old channel I tried so hard to be something that I wasn't and the fact that I finally come to terms with myself and found myself and I'm really happy and secure with how I am and who I am it's something I wanted to share with you guys because it could be something that you're struggling with and I hope that this video could help you if it is. For one, like I said, to kind of keep on the topic of me being something that I wasn't for a very long time, it was only a few months ago that I decided I just can't be doing this anymore and I would watch YouTube videos like those really edited in-depth like saturated crazy editing and equipment and cameras and be like that is exactly what I need to be doing if I want to get anywhere on YouTube right like I need to buy the best equipment the best editing software everything just so that people will see my videos and people will want to subscribe to me and so if you go back on some of my other videos one in specific that I really tried to be really like something that I wasn't was my um, random life hacks video and I am very proud of that video do not get me wrong because it was a lot of editing and things like that and I do enjoy editing and kind of being creative and putting my own twist on things but it wasn't my own twist it was somebody else's twist it was how I wouldn't normally edit my videos or the type of videos I would even do like I that was what was popular and people were watching and that's all I saw in my subscriptions was life hacks and like life hacks everyone needs to know to survive school and like all these different types of life hack videos and so I was like this is what I need to be doing this is how I'm gonna get noticed but I could have uploaded something that I was more proud of like I think that this video is gonna be something I'm going to be able to look on and be like this video it helped people because yeah maybe that life hacks video helped people with like warming up their shower when they get out by lighting candles or ordering pizza online with a with a coupon code that I gave you guys but does that really mean anything if I'm not doing these type of videos that can really speak to somebody and be the video that somebody really needs to see to get past something hard in their life or realize that they're not alone these are the type of videos I want to be doing I will still always be doing my reacting to Demi Lovato things or just any like those type of random videos I love doing makeup videos you guys know I have a huge passion for makeup anything cosmetology I'm like obsessed with but these type of videos I haven't done an advice video in a long time and that was just because I was so focused on doing other things and not being myself that is one thing I wanted to talk to you guys and it kind of exposed myself these are like I said they're gonna be all over the place and really random like in situations like I'm exposing myself in situations Twitter arguments or even arguments in person with people that I care about or just like people in general. I feel like I always need to defend myself and it's something that I'm working on. I need to have the last say because then that just shows that I won the argument and I always feel the need to defend myself especially like say like on Twitter or something somebody says something offensive or even on like you now because I do a lot of live streams and people come in and they're just like jerks about stuff. I'm definitely working on like letting things go so that is one other thing about me that you guys probably don't know it's just I have a really really hard time dropping things <laughs> another thing about me and this definitely I've been trying to like accumulate all these facts about me and this is probably something I could have put in a random facts about me video but I feel like this would be good in here because it could be something that you guys can relate to but I get very very overwhelmed in big crowds in places that I don't 
I've never been to before or if I'm like with a group of friends and then we go somewhere we go out it takes me a long time to be comfortable with where I am because in big crowds I just I don't like being the center of attention which I never like I, I like make it a point not to be the center of attention like I don't put myself out there just like and to get everybody looking at me but when I'm in big crowds I'm like I don't want to be here besides having a lot of concert sets that's a given in just like crowds I'm like this is not me I would rather be at home in bed like watching Netflix and eating a lot of food it's not like an anxiety thing I just don't feel comfortable another thing and this is something I've touched on many times on my channel I'm always back and forth with it I make posts about it on Twitter I did it recently and it was my acne and that's something that I struggled with just my skin in general my face like my under eye circles just like everything like my face in general I know I'm not the only one that has looked in the mirror and just started bawling because I just wish I didn't have to wear makeup sometimes. I love makeup. I look forward to getting up and putting my makeup on just because it's something I enjoy. Um, but it had gotten to the point where I felt like I needed to wear makeup. Like I needed to wear makeup to feel confident and to feel pretty. And that's, I mean, there's absolutely nothing wrong with feeling confident wearing makeup because I mean, I feel like 10 times more confident when I have makeup on. But being secure with yourself when you're not wearing makeup for me is very important just because I just don't want to feel like I need to pile on a bunch of makeup to feel pretty and thankfully my boyfriend is just so great and he's doesn't care if I wear makeup or not I don't even think he realized but he's helped me a lot with um like if I go over there and I'm not wearing makeup and it's just like he still sees me exactly the same and that's that is just great but being happy and being able to accept yourself on your own and not like depending on other people to think you're beautiful like knowing that you're a great person regardless of what you look like or what you think of yourself and like the things that you dislike about yourself and just knowing you're an amazing person and that so many people love you and care about you that's what keeps me going so if you're struggling with anything like that regardless if it's acne maybe bullying or just being really hard on yourself just something that you just sit there and you pinpoint things in the mirror that you don't like about yourself just know that you are so loved you don't need to be something that you're not to get people to love you or watch your videos or anything like that with that being said the videos that are coming are going to be more beauty related videos because that's what I like to do and I steered away from it because so many people that were in the beauty community stopped making those type of videos. One day I would love to do big production videos. Right now I'm very very happy with where I am in life and just I'm happy with my YouTube channel and being able to upload like demi related videos or my Q&A videos that I love because I love talking to you guys and seeing you guys on Snapchat or just my random funny challenges and things like that and so I I'm gonna I'm gonna continue with that I'm definitely gonna be doing more advice videos just because I like watching those videos and they make me happy putting them out and hearing your guys' feedback is what's most important and if I'm helping somebody then that's all I care about I hope that you guys enjoyed this ramble videos I don't know what <laughs> like what it is, what is this video just me this is this video is me i just want you guys to know i love you so much i really really do like i could probably start crying if i keep going on about how much i love you guys but um you guys make me really really happy if you enjoyed make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button i would love to have you around thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video Break me down like I would hit the ground Don't hear the hate, don't